Hey everybody, in this video, this will be the last video in the Heap TLS section. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a DACL, a dynamic access control list that will be placed on the interface using ClearPass. Now we did this in the Heap one, so it's, it's going to be very, very similar to that. But I just wanted to go over it just for completeness and for, you know, to end, end this this series, this part. So if you're going to use EEP or PEEP, if you're going to use EEP, you're going to want to use EEP TLS. That's, that's the most secure way. So really PEEP, you probably shouldn't be using. It's better than nothing, like I said before, but use EEP TLS. All right. So we're using this EEP TLS service right here. This is our service. So if we go in here, let's just go over what we did. We have a service that is enabled. It's looking at the NAS port and it's just running for authentication, the test Eve EEP TLS, which we can look at. That is under the authentication methods. And if we look right there, we can see enable session timeout six hours, compare subject alternate to alternate name, alternate subject name, the SAN on the certificate. We're not verifying it using OCSP. We can if we wanted to, but we're not here in this, in this case, you probably want to. Okay, back to the service. Roles, we don't have anything. And in here, we're using the test Eve EPTLS wired enforcement policy. And these are the rules and the enforcement that we're, we're using. Okay, so let's see, we want to give domain users, we want to lock them down. So what we'll do is we'll go into this enforcement policy. And if we look here, enforcement, Actually, this is an enforcement profile contained in the enforcement policy. So you put an enforcement policy and then that has profiles. So if we go to profiles, you can see the policy right here. Test Eve EPTLS enforcement policy. That's the enforcement policy we're using. And if you go to rules, so we can edit this rule and we could add a profile. So let's edit this rule, although let's edit this rule, domain admins, because that's what we're using to log in. Although I could show you a T, a T user one. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do a user. So edit rule. And what we'll do is we'll add Cisco DACL, which is a profile. And I'll show you that in a second. So we save that there. We save it here. And now that DACL should apply. Let's look at the DACL, go into profile. And we're just looking at EEP, but let's look at DACL. And Cisco DACL right here. It's a downloadable ACL. Deny IP to 16, deny IP to five. So five is our management and it's denied on this port. Okay, perfect. So let's now go to, let's go back here. And let's check, let's make sure, let's go on to the domain controller. And make sure T user is just a user before we log them in. So we want to go to Active Directory, Users and Computers, and there we are. And we have Test User 2 and Test User 3. Let's see what this user, Test User 2 is a domain admin, okay. 
best user three is not. Okay, so let's do that. Let's log in as test user three. So if we go to here, say other user, T user three, and that's going to be password one, get them in. Let's go to monitoring access tracker. Let's see what's going on. So the users in, they have been given a given access. So let's see what happened. Let's see, this is not refreshed yet. I don't see it refreshing. Uh, let me check something. My services. My test Eve ETLS is enabled. So why did that? Let's see what happened there. Let's see what IP we have. So we have a 70 IP, which is correct. Let me go back to clear pass and just see if we're, has that updated? No. Okay. So I don't see T user anywhere. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to restart that server. So I was doing some testing on it. So let's just restart that. Make sure we start fresh. Restart anyway. Okay, so we're going to log in as tuser3. And they are a member of... See if we have that still up. Wired auth users seven zero and domain users. So this is. So I think I created this group because I was having an issue with how, how it was finding the users and what the membership was. Okay. So we're back. Let's see if we got some clear pass. Yeah. So that it hit that and it is. So the one issue I think we could be experiencing is that this, this user does not have a, does not have a certificate. Let's just make sure that that is not, that could be part of the problem to user three, but that user should get a certificate when they log in. So hopefully the user got a certificate during that last login. If the user did, did not have a certificate already, let's just make sure that the CA is up. CA is up. That's good. That's running. Let's just get back here. Yeah, it's interesting. So we're not seeing the user logging in. I think that is because we don't have a certificate. Let's see if we can see if that's the case. Uh, we're going to go to user certificates.
So here we can see, yeah, there's no issued certificate. So that's, that's going to be a problem, right? So let's uh, GP update this. GP update force. Let's see if this gets at that certificate. Okay, user policy update. Let's see, do we have, so we don't have a certificate given out. Let me see if I can run this. Okay, so we have access, we have internet access, which should be able to connect then over to, so there's, it's not receiving a certificate. Yeah, so this is just because I haven't logged in with this user yet, and that's, the problem and why I'm not seeing that certificate here. Let's see. Let's see if we can refresh this. So still nothing. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get a new certificate going. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. Well, actually, I'm going to I'm going to end this video right now and just see why that certificate is. You know what? I actually think I know why that certificate's not being given out. If we look at failed request, this is this is the problem. All right. So I'm going to come back and we're going to finish this in the next video. Thanks.